one of the key topics of this year's IAA is increasing driving automation. There's no need to look far into the future to experience some of the technology that will enable automated driving. Our highway driving assist system is one example of what a semi-automated driving system can actually do. The driver's workload is increasingly reduced, especially in more monotonous driving situations. The vehicle automatically adjusts the speed to the vehicle ahead and it keeps the vehicle in the center of the lane. However, the driver can intervene at any point in time and regain full control. With me now is Martin Meyer, our global product sales lead for the driver assist systems. Martin, can you tell us a little bit about the technology behind the highway driving assist? This vehicle is equipped with our two most advanced technologies. We have two sensors in this vehicle. One is our medium range radar, our EC1000, and the other one is our ZF TRW SCAM3, a scalable video camera. Both systems are working closely together. One system, the radar system, is responsible to measure the distance and to detect the objects in front of the vehicle. And then we have behind the windscreen, a video camera, our new TRW ZF SCAM3 camera. And this camera is responsible to detect the lanes of the street. And with this lane detection, we can keep the vehicle in the middle of the lane and make sure that the vehicle is always following the vehicle in front of it. Of course, those two sensor systems need to work together. Therefore, we have combined those sensor systems together in an electronic control unit. The data of the camera and the data of the radar is used in an electronic control unit, and this data is as well used to calculate the distance and the center of the street. The beauty of these technologies is their flexible nature. The same sensing hardware can be used for different functions. For example, the driver assist hardware in the vehicle could also be used for an emergency steering assist functionality. More on that in our next video from the Frankfurt Motor Show.